Now we're going to auscultate the anterior thorax. You first inspect and inspect for any difficulty breathing, if he's having any retractions, suprasternal, intercostal, um, on, around the, in the diaphragmatic, um, check around the clavicles, above the clavicles, his neck area, is he having nasal flaring, is he pr having problems with his um, breathing, look at the coloration, any um, cyanosis, um, and if he's um, checking his respiratory rate to make sure it's regular and even and that it's not labored. Then you, so you inspect that. Any, any problems with the skin, lesions, bruising, um, injuries, inspect that area and now you will palpate. You're generally palpating to see if you found any, looking for any deformities, tenderness, problems, have, have him take a nice breath in and out and check for diaphragmatic excursion. Then you will ask for the tactile frematis, just like in the posterior, and ask him to um, say 99 or blue moon and feel the frematis and as it decreases. Um, then you are going to do your percussion. And in the same areas that you're going to auscultate, you should check over the apices of the lung, which is over the clavicle on both sides, and then between your intercostals. It should be generally resonant. The area here, this is over the heart area, it's going to be a dull sound. And as you move down, and you get over the liver, um, the upper edge of the liver border, you're going to have dullness in that area. The area on this side is going to be very loud with tympani over this lower edge below the lungs. It's the um, over the gastric bubble. Now, so you've inspected and you've palpated and you've percussed. Now you're going to auscultate. And auscultate, start over the um, apices of the lungs. Ask them to breathe in and out with each auscultation. Listen for a full inspiration and expiration. Listen again between your intercostals. You're focusing on the lungs now, the full inspiration, expiration. You're turning off the out the cardiac sounds. You'll do those next when we listen for the heart area. When you are Auscultating, and remember as he takes a deep breath, that's what the picture shows, is that they are showing the expansion of the lungs, and you will listen on the sides also. So you're basically going along here on both, and, and listening on both sides. And that's how you assess the anterior chest.